y is equal to x minus 5. Plot the graph and determine the slope y is equal to x minus 5. What is the y-intercept? What is the x-intercept? Plot the graph and determine the slope. So we are asked to plot the graph y is equal to x minus 5. y is equal to x minus 5. To plot the graph, we need two points. We can get the first point by substituting x equals 0. So y is equal to 2, and the space occupied by x, we put 0. So 0, negative 5 is a point on the line. So that's what we did here. We substitute x equals 0, and we get negative 5. So what is our point? x comes first, 0, and y is negative 5. Again, y is equal to x minus 5. How do we get the next point? You can substitute x equals 2. So let's substitute x equals 2. So y is equal to 2 in the space occupied by x. We substitute x equals 2. What is 2 times 2? It is 4. So what is 4 minus 5? Negative 1. So what is our point? Our point is x comes first. y is negative 1. So we have two points, 0, negative 5, and 2, negative 1. All we have to do is join. So here is the substitution for x equals 2. And when we substitute x equals 2, we get y is equal to negative 1. When you compare y is equal to x minus 5 with y is equal to mx plus b, we see that m, the slope, is 2. For every one point, you move to the right along the horizontal. You go vertically up by 2. Another way to look at it is, for every one day, you make $2, which is pretty good. So we know what is m. How about b? 2x minus 5. 2x minus 5 is the same as 2x plus negative 5. So when you compare y is equal to mx plus b and y is equal to 2x plus negative 5, we see that b is equal to negative 5. Slope is equal to 2 and the y-intercept is b is equal to negative 5. So we have m is equal to 2, b is equal to m is equal to 2, slope is equal to 2, y-intercept is negative 5. We have one of the points, 0, negative 5, and the other point is 2, negative 1. So we can join those two and get a line. How do we get the y-intercept? For the y-intercept, you set x equals 0. So when you substitute x equals 0, you get 0, negative 5. For the x-intercept, set y equals 0. So y is equal to 2x minus 5. For the x-intercept, you have to set y equal to 0. What is x-intercept? That is a point where the graph touches the x-axis. What is the x-intercept? It is the point where the graph touches the x-axis. On the x-axis, y is always 0. On the x-axis, y is always 0. So substitute y is equal to 0. So when we substitute y is equal to 0, you get 2x minus 5. Add 5 to both sides, and you get 2x equals 5. And then you divide both sides by 2, and you get x equals 2.5. So that's what we did here. y is equal to 2x minus 5. And then in the space occupied by y, you substitute 0. Because on the x-axis, y is equal to 0. So we get 0 equals 2x minus 5. Add 5 to both sides. Cancel negative 5 on the right side. And you get 5 equals 2x, or x equals 5 over 2. So you get 2.50. When you put x equals 0, y is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. When you put y is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 is the x-axis. When you put y is equal to 0, you get 2.5. So this is 1, 2, and 2.5. So this point is your 
x intercept this point is your y intercept this is one of the points and that is 2 negative 1 when we substitute x equals to y equals negative 1 because y is equal to x minus 5 and this is George Matthew signing off good luck